Hello and welcome to Gardening Tips with Phil. Well, it's been around two days since I made the um, the wicking uh, bucket here, or the wicking pot out of a bucket. Uh, it's, uh, I topped it up with a bit more uh, soil yesterday, as you saw in the video. So, what we're going to do now, is it's nice and moist and it is uptaking the water quite nicely, we're going to actually start planting a bit of seed. We've got um, some Uh, tomatoes here, cherry tomatoes. This one is a cherry Roma, as you probably can see on the pack there. So we'll put two or three seeds in and um, we'll plant that out. Anyway, we'll, uh, I'll move the camera down here so you can see. Uh, yeah, I've got, um, I've got its food, that's uh, seaweed or kelp. I've got sea minerals. I've actually got a cover for them. I've learnt that the hard way. If uh, they're out in the open, little seedlings can be taken by um, rodents and all that sort of stuff. So keep them covered. And I'm just going to mulch in around it. And yeah, we'll wait a few weeks and we'll monitor after a couple of weeks. Hopefully we'll see some uh, results there. So I'll just zoom the camera in on the, um, on the bucket here and yeah. Okay. <coughs> All right, so now I'll get the seeds out and... So, we'll just make a little dimple there. Put that one in. I'll only plant three, I'll put the fourth one back. Picked up two there. Okay. Now we've got three in there, maybe four. I don't know, uh, it looked like it were, wasn't wearing my glasses, so, well, don't know what's happened to that seed. Oh, uh, yep, I can see it. Oh, well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save seeds off um, these. They're very, very easy to do tomatoes. I'll probably use a half a dozen different uh, ones, and, yeah, so we've got that. Now, basically, we're just going to feed her in. We've got some seed... Uh, Seaweed solution, kelp. Uh, we'll just moisten that area off there with it. That'll soak in. They've got a different. They all both contain trace nutrients and that, but they have different concentrations of different ones. So we'll just put a cover over it. Now I'll just mulch it. I'll be back in a minute. To get something important. Okay, I'm back now. I just had to get the uh, knife to get the uh, the sugar cane mulch open. Quite well compacted. This will just stop it. Cut down a bit of evaporation. Okay. So. Basically, that, uh, that can be actually, the plants can actually be fed through the um, top hole here. It'll protect it from uh, any cold winds or anything like that, as well as it'll be a little bit of a greenhouse for them to uh, thrive in. So, and yeah, anyway, so like I said, self-watering, so it'll uh, be, um, uh, work quite well. Anyway, I'm going to make another one up tomorrow and probably put in some uh, black cherry tomatoes. So I'm interested in them. I didn't have any success with them last year. Uh, plants all went missing, if you know what I mean. Anyway, all right. So that's it for the time being with this one. So yeah, if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. Um, for more uh, videos in the future, just hit the subscribe button below. And uh, thank you very much for watching Gardening Tips with Phil and we will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.